Celebrations on the streets of the capital Libreville. Gabon free, Gabon liberated, they chant. Crowds waving palm leaves in a sign of victory hug Gabonese soldiers hours after they carried out their coup. We are so happy. There is a sense of joy. We are waiting for this moment for so long. We suffered so much. Officers chant the name of the man leading the coup. General Brice Clotaire Oligui Nguema has been named as transition leader in Gabon. He is the head of the Presidential Guard, which pledged to protect President Ali Bongo. A close aide to Bongo, Oligi put Bongo under house arrest, bringing to an end the 56-year-long Bongo family dynasty. Ali Bongo, once seen as strong and invincible, appearing desperate and alone, appealing for help from his palace where he's being detained. So I'm calling you to make noise, to make noise, to make noise, really. I'm, I'm thanking you. A call that has fallen on deaf ears following the presidential election on Saturday. The vote was marred by massive fraud, says the opposition. Bongo ordered the shutdown of the internet and banned international observers and foreign journalists from covering the election. When Bongo's re-election was announced on Wednesday morning, the soldiers seized power. The newly formed junta revoked the election results, arresting dozens of electoral officials and accused them of treason. We have decided to defend peace by putting an end to the current regime. The general elections of August 26th, as well as the truncated results, are cancelled. The borders are closed until further notice. All institutions of the Republic are dissolved. The African Union has condemned the latest coup in the region. But the Gabonese people appear jubilant. They sing the national anthem and chant, We have chased injustice and shame. Gabon has awoken to a new dawn. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.